What's happening people? Today's a first for us as we're playing on a Sunday against Broxbourne Borough's Sunday League team and they have a fantastic ground. We don't know too much about them except two of our ex-teammates Faisal and Jarrett played for them and it was Jarrett that helped set this game up. But what we do know is they've won their league and cups for the last few years so we know they're a very good side. We had four turn up late and one non-runner and most saying that they thought it was an 11 o'clock meet but that was the actual kickoff time and we were starting the game with nine men until two of our players turned up with two minutes to go but I guess that's grassroots football for you. Right, enough of my waffle, here's a team sheet. So in goal we've got Max, our right back, covering for us again this week. With Palmer playing at left back and the McDonald brothers both playing centre halves today. With Tony right back and in midfield we've got Morton, Chris and Dwayne. And up front we've got Justin, the young lad, helping us out again today with myself and Ty. And our subs today when they actually arrive is Khalil and Akin. Right, let's get this show on the road. Three, two, one, go! So today we're playing in our black and white away kit and I think we might actually make this our home kit for the upcoming season. With only 30 seconds gone, Broxbourne are on the attack. With Jarrett, our ex-teammate, on the ball. But that's not going to trouble Max. Both teams complaining that the ball's flat. You don't see this every day. And a trip on Chris and we win the free kick. So Palmer sets himself for the free kick. But that's an easy one for their keeper. And Dwayne chests it down and he's running at their defence. But scuffs his shot. Justin bringing down the ball, spots my run. And some good defending here, blocking my shot. Some lovely link up play by our three midfielders here. And Ty gets brought down here and we win another free kick. So it's Chris to whip one over. But again, that won't trouble their keeper. And with eight minutes gone, it seems to be us doing all the pressing. And Chris with a ball over to myself. And this tackle was a painful one as he landed on my fire, giving me a dead leg. And as they bring it out from the back, and their number 11's clearly on side here. And the ref blows up, but with no linos on either team, we can't complain. And again, it's Dwayne on the ball, who's linking up with Morton nicely. And he sees Morton in loads of space. And a great save by their keeper. And we win the first corner of the game. Justin whips the corner over, and it goes in. 11 minutes gone, and we take a 1-0 lead. Did take a slight deflection, but it was going in, so I'm giving that to Justin. And their number 11 on the ball is a very tricky player, and he's trying to get his shot off, but a great block by Chris. And they're pressing us again. And a cutback, and a shot, and a good save from Max. And their player Jarrett loses the ball. And a perfectly dinked ball over to Ty. And showing great footwork. And now he's through on goal. And unselfishly passes the ball to me. And just like that, I make it 2-0. And Ty's been working on his fitness throughout the summer. And he looks like a completely different player. And I have to say, that's a good finish from myself after missing a shed load of chances in the last two games. <laughs> So 16 minutes gone, we're 2-0 up and that dead leg I've got in the first five minutes is causing me hassle again but with no subs I've got to carry on. And another snapshot by Jarrett but he just can't keep it down this time and a lot of time the defence don't get the credit they deserve and just look at our captain Neil, calm under pressure. Good evening, sir. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> and here's their number 11 again. And any sort of touch from their player and we would have been in trouble. 
And at the moment, it's all Broxbourne, and we just can't seem to get hold of the ball. But luckily for us, they're not hitting the target. And it's Neil, our captain, bringing it out from the back again. And just look at this work rate from Ty. And skips past his man. Cuts it back, and Justin's there to make it 3-0. Seven minutes gone and we're 3-0 up and their number six spots Max off his line but it's got to be something special to catch him out all of a sudden Jarrett's through on goal but he gets his shot all wrong and again it's Broxbourne doing all the pressing perfect but again that's easy for Max and ties in acres of space Just watch his work rate. They just can't get anywhere near him. And we win another corner. And the ball falls to Morton. And it comes out and he gets another chance. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's put on a bit of holiday weight this summer, but he reckons he's going to get rid of it by the time the season starts. And now Ty's running back in defence. So, Tony to Dwayne. And they were claiming I was offside from Dwayne's pass, but I'm clearly onside here. And this one's even worse. The geezer's actually in his own area. But like I said before, without any linos, the ref can only give what he sees. But their bench were adamant I was offside. And with 37 minutes gone, I've got to come off because I can't shake off that dead leg. But luckily, Khalil's turned up. Oh man, I'll cook leg. I had a dead leg for the first five minutes. Couldn't control it. <laughs> You'd think it would. I've already done it, bro. <laughs> when you said, ah, oh, but the uh, thing might have not been working. I thought he was either been pumping weights. No, nah, man. His, belly, like, his belly's massive. Hell. He said he's been two weeks all inclusive, haven't he? Don't fucking do that in two weeks. I don't give a shit what you say. Is that the fuck Ronaldo? Look at him. Look, his head's all red and everything. <laughs> and a mistake by Tony, and he gets dispossessed. And their player whips one over. Jarrett just can't get to the ball, but their player comes round from the back and hits the post. And we've been very lucky the first half not to concede. And Khalil skips past his man. And finds the run by Dwayne. And a good block by their keeper. And I didn't see this at first, but just look at their defenders clearance. And that's top draw defending. And we don't have the time to take the corner because the ref blows his whistle. First half, done and dusted. Keep the ball, boys, yeah? Because that's what they were trying to do. Well, all of a sudden, they lost it, didn't they? When you're passing to someone, if you can see he's got a man up his ass or he can turn, tell him no. Yeah. Yeah, because at the minute I'm doing it from left back all over the pitch. Yeah. You're the closest man, into his feet, man on. He knows to look after it. Turn, you can just turn and drive. Yeah, because there's times where we're going backwards and sideways and that person can turn and go to 20 yards of space. Yeah, just little things, boys, little things. But overall, it's good. Everyone's working hard, keeping a good shape. We're doing the defensive bit. And uh, just keep it up, boys. Just don't go into the second half sloppy. Exactly. Yeah? Don't yes. be complacent because we're 3 1. Yeah. Yeah, the right. game can change very quickly. Yeah. Doing what we're doing. Let them make 10, 20 passes. Yeah, we don't necessarily need to shut no. that first no. ball. No. Because that's when they're playing around us. So if we just hold for a minute, then it comes to us to a point. And then when we say as a team, this will start. 
Chris. We, we don't need to chase for the sake of it. You're injured? No, no, I'm alright, innit? But obviously James ain't there, innit? So yeah. I, just... I mean, though, your injury is it healed up? Yeah, it feels better, it feels better, innit? Just... Three, two, one, go! Second half, and it's us to kick off. <laughs> and I don't know how this geezer's missed the ball, but turned it into a smooth trick. Well done, that man. And now it's Broxbourne on the attack. And 14's one-on-one -on -one with Max, and a good block. And Morton's picked the ball up in the middle, and finds Ty on the wing. And surely he wouldn't try a shot from 40 yards out, would he? Straight down the other end. Number 11's got the ball, but drags his shot wide. And 11's on the ball again, and he's been their best player by far. He's got loads of skill and power. And if this would have gone in, it would have been a thunderbolt. Never seen Chris pull out of a tackle. And Akin, who's turned up late and hung over, gets his shot off and just drags it wide. And now Morton's got the ball and running at their defence. And he's been called the toe punk king from back when we were younger. And now you can see why. And with 65 minutes gone, we're creating a lot of chances here. And now it's Chris with a shot, but that's not going to trouble their keeper. And their number 11's on the ball again. And it comes off the post. But their player just can't keep it down. And the score remains 3-0. And Ty's got the ball. Surely he's not going to try another long range shot, is he? And this is Broxbourne's manager, Waco. You wouldn't think he's 53, bombing down the wing like that. And Tony tries to clear it, but only as far as one of their players. But again, that's an easy one for Max. And here's their manager again, rolling back the years. And he wins the corner. And I've come on for Dwayne, who's carrying a slight knock. But the delivery catches everyone out. And Ty is there again in defence, bringing it out from the back. And as he finds a pass to myself, I'm clearly onside again. But again, they're adamant I'm offside. But now it's me versus my old strike partner, Jarrett. <laughs> and you know, Jade, there's only going to be one winner here. And with a toe poke, I make it 4-0. And Jarrett is my old strike partner from three years ago at West Essex. So I had to get one up over him. And I calmly slot away my second of the game. And Ty, who's worked his arse off, comes off for Justin. So it's 4 0 up with 15 minutes to go. And it's bucketing down now. And a long kick from Max. And I collect the ball and give it to Justin. Bang, gets his hat trick. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah. And he deserves this goal. He's been outstanding the last two games, helping us out as we've been shorter players. Yeah. And just kept it simple, talking, simple like passes and then burst. That's, that's going to be the main thing 
for us this season is yeah. talking and yes. communication. Yes. If we can just pass the man on or just let him know what's, what's yeah. around you, it's easy. That, yeah, it makes the game so Trust much easier. Me. And then just trusting each other just to yes. balance it. Yeah. Because like, we're looking and then we're still like stuttering. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. like, it's getting there. Yeah, I'll oh, trust see me. The Last season, we were the fucking we probably turned, turned over by these ones. Yeah, yeah. Just a real issue, the lack of talk. Finish. Ooh! Finish. That's what I brought you on! Finish! <laughs> so, with two goals in three minutes, we firmly put this game to bed. And once again, we're on the attack. But blocked by the keeper. And a mistake by Akin. And then number 11 picks the ball up. But Max has got that covered. And their player just leaves Sank on Max, which he takes exception to. And then out come the handbags. And cue the Benny Hill music. <laughs> After all that, we can get back to the game. And I've left this bit of play in from our ex-players, Jarrett and Faisal. And Faisal's showing here he ain't lost his skill. And at our end, they have a corner. And cleared only as far as their number 10. Who whips one over. And just watch this. Max, no chance with that. And that's an absolute rocket. So 10 minutes to go and they've got one back. Keeper kicks. And a heavy touch by Jarrett and I get the ball off him. And just watch this bit of play here. Perfect. And the link up play here by Chris and his son Justin. With Tony with a shot. And myself, third time lucky, to get the second hat trick of the game. But I've got to give credit to the keeper for making two outstanding saves and almost saving mine. 6 1 up with seven minutes to go. And then this happens. And their number 11 deserved this goal. He's been outstanding all game. And what a goal. Three minutes left to go and Justin's got the ball. And I've been called offside again. And with that last bit of play, the ref blows his whistle. Full time, done and dusted. Well played, bro. Well played, man. Well done. Well played, man. Well played. Well played. Well done, Just. Solid, bro. <laughs> Solid, bro. Well played, bro. Good yeah? yeah, man. All the best, yeah, boys. Good luck, Missy. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Good to see you, bro. All the best. I'm not here yet. How's it got? Huh? How's it got? It's going down, man. I'm not that running. There's no way. Oh, that running. <laughs> Give me a month, mate. I'll back to my slender self. <laughs> the mic weren't working when I first sent it to you. That's what I've got to say again. <laughs> I've got to get you again. Sorry, bro. I've just got to walk around breathing in, ain't I? Not bad. Buzz enough that goal off Jarrod, did it? <laughs> Alright, he flopped on the floor. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next week we're in Chelmsford. One o'clock, mate. Mm -hmm. That's one of the top kickoffs. No, but that's a Saturday.